Okay, so it's time for October 2020 Reader's Digest Extraordinary Uses for Everyday Things. And they even do a whole page full here to entice you to read this section. Like, did you know that pennies keep flowers fresh? Did you know that a tennis ball can unclog a sink? How about eggs? They make glue. A coffee filter can save a bottle of wine. Gl uh, chalk can eliminate grease stains. Removes watermark with toothpaste. You can stop a windshield crack with clear fingernail polish. And eases stiff muscles with mustard. It says save time and money with these ingenious tips for getting more out of the stuff you already have from the book of extraordinary uses for everyday thing, ordinary things. Okay. Uh, hopefully this is not going to be that long. Let's see here. Um, well, the, I'm just going to entice you by reading this. It says... Um, you can't always get what you want. That's the lesson our parents and the Rolling Stones have made very clear. But you've learned the hard way this year, as the pan pandemic disrupted many of our lives, that it doesn't mean you have to accept defeat, however, or even in delay. 39 items are domestic superheroes. They have the secret skills that can save your bacon, not to mention the dirty frying pan in a pinch. They all sit mending their, minding their own business under your sink or in your fridge or in the grab bag drawer. They look so ordinary, yet once you discover their powers, they will save unwanted trips to the store, expensive visits from the handyman, gashing of the teeth, and more. Food cooking. Did you know a substitute for yeast? Looking to make a loaf of bread? Make one teaspoon of powdered vitamin C or citric acid and baking soda. And what's more, the dough that you add, it won't have to rise before baking. Replace baking powder. Substitute two parts cream of tartar mixed with one part each baking soda and cornstarch. The cornstarch slows the reaction between the acidic cream of carter, tartar and the alkalinic baking soda and helps the compound maintain its leavening power lo longer. Protect the veggies in the fridge. Line your refrigerator crisper drawer with paper towels. They absorb the moisture and it causes causes your fruit and vegetable to rot. When the lining gets dirty, just throw it out and replace it with fresh paper towel. Keep your fruit fresh. Do berries and grapes get moldy before you've had a chance to enjoy them? Store them in a colander, not a closed plastic container in the refrigerator. The cold air will circulate through the holes and around keeping them fresher for days. Revive soggy lettuce. Don't toss out those sorry leaves in the garbage. Add a juice of add the juice of half a lemon to a bowl of cold water. Put the soggy lettuce in it and refrigerate it for about an hour. Vinegar, the ultimate multi-purpose liquid that can clean chrome, stainless steel, bricks, and get rock salt off your shoes and stickers off your bumper. Remove grease stains and candle drips. Tenderize meat and treat a jellyfish sting among its many other talents. 58.59 Baking soda. In addition to being a stand-in, baking powder, and other cooking staples, baking soda can clean deodorize your vegetables, your pots, your teeth, and even your toilets. It makes for a able first aid treatment, helping soothe burns, rashes, and bee stings, among other things. Make sure the leaves are completely dry before using them in salads or sandwiches. That's back to the, the salad again. Okay. To tenderize meat. Soak inexpensive cuts of meat in vinegar for up to four hours. Don't just break down tough fibers. It also reduces carcinogenic compounds that form during... Jeanette, uh, during grilling. Experiment with different vinegar varieties for added flavor or simple use apple, vinegar, apple cider vinegar or distilled vinegar just to be sure to use the rinse and the meat off the, before the cooking. 
save a bottle of wine. If the cork breaks apart when you put, open the bottle, no problem. Pour the wine through a coffee filter. It will catch everything but the liquid. Cleaning. Get rid of that soap scum. Spritz the gunk with a cooking spray. Let it sit for a couple minutes. Then the scum will come right off with just a swipe of a towel. Then wash the surface with soap and water. Eliminate grease stains. Rub some chalk on the greasy spots of clothes or table linens. Let it absorb until the oil before you brush it off. If the stain lingers, rub more chalk into it before laundering. To get rid of the ring around the collar stain, mark them heavily with chalk before laundering to absorb the oils and hold in the dirt. Repel dust from your screens. Because televisions and computers are electronically charged, they attract dust. Fabric softener sheets will clean them and keep them away. <clears throat> Rescue a rug. If you've spilled coffee or tea on the carpet, there's another tasty beverage that cl clean the mess. Beer. Rub a few teaspoons or more if you've made a really big mess lightly into the fabric. Flat beer will also polish up your wood furniture. You can't always get what you want, but you don't always have to accept defeat. Dissolve or tarnish silverware. Grab some potatoes and boil them up. Remove them from the water and save them to eat later. Then place your silverware in the potato water and let it sit for one hour. Remove and wash it. The tarnish should have disappeared. Unstick gum. Got chewing gum smoothed into your carpet or on the wall? WD-40 will loosen it. This works on wax drippings too. Remove water stains from furniture. Before I read that, I'll let you guys see page 60 and 61. There's 60. And 61. Okay. Remove water stains from furniture. Did your guest somehow miss the coaster to get rid of those annoying white rings left? By moist glasses, gently rub some non-gel toothpaste on the wood with a soft cloth and wipe it off with a damp cloth and let that area dry. Lemon juice. Brightening, besides brightening the flavor of recipes, lemon juice can clean, freshen your microwave and your laundry. It's also a potent exfoliant, dandruff fighter, wart remover, and disinfectant. Lift a scorch mark. If you send your favorite shirt with a hot iron, wet the area and cover it with cornstarch. Allow the cornstarch to dry, then brush it away. We're moving into home fixes. Unclog a bathroom sink without a plunger. Cut off a discard of the top of a third of an old tennis ball. Place the open end of what remains over the clogged drain. Block the overflow hole with a damp cloth and run small amounts of water into the basin to make seal with, with the edge of the ball using the ball of your hand using the ball of your hand, plunge down hard and fast. Clear a blocked drain. If the tennis ball plunger doesn't work, pour in half a cup of baking soda and let it sit for a few minutes, then add one cup each of vinegar and hot water. Cover with the stopper for 10 minutes, then flush with hot water. Repeat and plunge if needed. With a crack in the floor, Crayons make great material for small scratches, gouges, or holes in many Floors. Select the color that most closely matches yours. Melt the crayon in the microwave over waxed paper on a medium power. A minute at a time until you have a pliant gob of color. Now, with that plastic knife or putty knife, fill the hole. Smooth it over with a rolling pin or a book or some other flat object that you don't even need to sand it. You can substitute glue. Egg whites can act as a replacement when you need to adhere some paper or light cardboard together. Add insulation. Cut window sized piece of bubble wrap, then duct tape them to the windows for extra warmth and savings on winter fuel. Bills don't look don't like the look. Lowering the blinds will make it look look less noticeable. Keep them closed once the sun goes down and save on fuel bills too. Jump start that fireplace. 
Dried orange and lemon peels make better kindling with, than newspaper. Not only do they smell better and produce less crest soap for the newspaper, but the flammable oils found inside the peels enable them to burn much longer. Don't want to wait for the peels to dry out? Put them on a cookie sheet in 200 degree Fahrenheit oven for 25 to 30 minutes. 20 most trusted brands for the home and family. What are your 20 most trusted brands in America? For the six year, Reader's Digest teamed up with research firm IPESOS Connect to find out. This time we asked more than 3,500 Americans what brands they rely on and 20 categories of household and travel related products. Here are the winners. For more information on them, go to rd.com backslash most trusted 2020. For the airline, they chose Southwest. Auto Insurance, State Farm, Cat Litter was Tidy Cats, Credit Card was Visa, Cruise Line Carnival, Disinfectant Wipes, Clorox, Home Insurance, they chose State Farm, Household Cleaning Product, Lysol, Laundry Detergent, Tide, Life Insurance, MetLife, National Hotel Chain, Hilton, Passenger Cars, Toyota, Pet Food, Perina, Pet Insurance, Geico, Pet Retailer, Pet Smart, Pet Treats, Milk Bone, Retirement Investment Fidel Services, Fidelity, SUV Crossovers, Toyota, Trucks and Pickups, Ford, Wireless Provider, Verizon. I don't know who they asked, but they didn't ask me. And those are pages 62 and 63. I guess this keeps going for a little bit. How to rescue a drowning laptop. You just spilled water on your computer. Now what? Power down and disconnect any accessory. Open the screen at a right angle. Then place the laptop upside down and on a dry towel overnight in a warm, well-ventilated place. The next day, blast air into the machine for 15 minutes with a hair dryer set to the lowest heat setting. Keep it about 6 inches above the keyboard and move it constantly to avoid heating, creating hot spots. These domestic superheroes can save your bacon and the pan. Repair scratched phone screen. For shallow scratches, first clean the affected area using a fresh lint-free fresh lint cloth dipped in water. Wipe it dry with a second lint-free cloth, then rub the affected area lightly with a clean, soft pencil eraser. Follow the directions of the scratch. You might need to repeat this several times before the scratch disappears. Halt a windshield crack. If you've developed a small crack in your windshield, stop it cold with some clear nail polish. Working in the shade, brush the crack on both sides of the glass until, with polish and fill it well. Move the car into the sun so the windshield can dry. But take note, this fix is only temporary. Try to get the glass replaced within a day or two at the most. Fix a loose battery. Got a battery that won't stay in place in a flashlight? Ball up a piece of aluminum foil and put it at the bottom of the canister. Make an emergency shoelace. If you busted a sneaker, cut off a piece of duct tape that's long as you need and then rip off twice width you need and fold the tape in half long its length, sticky side in. Thread your new lace into your sneaker and tie it up. If you're gardening, fertilize your plants. Don't throw out those old coffee grounds. They are full of nutri nutrients that your, uh, your acid-loving plants crave. Save them to fertilize rose bushes, azaleas, rhodondas, camellias, and evergreens. Repel insects. Scatter a border of ashes from your fireplace around your garden to deter cutworms, slugs, and snails. Ash sticks to use their bodies and draw moisture out of them. Also, sprinkle small amounts over the garden plants to manage 
infestations of soft-bodied insects be warned since ash is alkaline it shouldn't be used on acid loving plants such as azaleas rhododendrons hydra hydrangeas and mums aluminum foil keeping your food warm is just the beginning you can also use foil to cast iron a plan clean a cast iron pan sharpen scissors fix a loose battery soften brown sugar improve radiator efficiency build a seed incubator keep bees away from beverages improve outdoor lighting and make a funnel I'll show you this now okay moving forward Fabric softener sheets. The dryer isn't the only place where fabric softener sheets contain stinky smells. Tuck them into closets, suitcases, waste baskets, drawers, and even a sneaker for an inexpensive, inexpensive air freshener. The sheets also work wonderfully to pick up pet hair, lift burned on residue from casserole, casserole dishes, keep dust off blinds and screens, clean soap scum from showers, Buff chromes to a brilliant shine and chase away gnats. Keep flowers fresh. Cut flowers will stay perky longer if you add a copper penny and an aspirin to the vase water. And don't forget to change the water daily. Health and beauty. Disinfect a cut. No rubbing alcohol or hydrogen peroxide. An alcohol-based mouthwash can clean a shallow cut and disinfect your skin. Alternatively, you can dab a few drops of lemon juice directly on the cut. Treat minor burns. If you sustain a minor skin burn, quickly pour some baking soda into the container of ice water. Soak a cloth or gauze pad into it and apply it on the burn. Keep applying this solution until the burn no longer feels hot. This treatment will also prevent many burns from blistering. Another option, apply vanilla extract. The expiration of the alcohol in the vanilla extract cools the burn. Ease achy spots. For pain in your knee or other joint muscles, rub in some warming liniment and wrap the area with a plastic wrap. The wrap will increase the heating effect of the liniment. Test on a small area to make sure that your skin does not burn. Relax stiff muscles. I have this all the time, but in my neck. If you prefer to soak your sore spots, take a bath in Epsom salt and throw in a few spoons of prepared mu yellow mustard. The mustard will enhance soothing effects of the salt. Remove a splinter. You can avoid the agony of digging a splinter out a needle by covering it with adhesive tape instead. After about three days, pull that tape off slowly and the splinter should come out with it. Save your shave. If you run out of shaving cream, try slathering some soft butter on your wet skin for smooth, close shave. Make a dehumidifier. A humid closet, attic, or cellar can wreak havoc on your health as well as your clothes. Get rid of all that humidity with homemade dehumidifiers. To make one, just put your charcoal briquette in a large, clean, lidded pan, can and punch a few holes in that lid. Place one more in the humid areas and replace the charcoal every few months. Repel ticks and other insects. Going for a walk in the woods? Smear some mentholated chest rub on your ankles, wrists, and neck before you leave the house. It might not be your favorite scent, but gnats, mosquitoes, disease-carrying ticks hate it, and they'll go in search of sweet-smelling, and they'll go in search of a sweeter-smelling victim. For more extraordinary tips, buy the book at shop.rd.com backslash tips okay moving forward I'm like why did I mark this oh um They have some really cute laughter jokes in here. Um, 
by laughter jokes it's just jokes that they share I'm not going to share them tonight because I'm losing my voice and I need to call a timeout. Um, one thing that I always enjoy, this is just a side note about me personally, I like to test my wits. And my very favorite thing in the here, and I do it without looking at the next page, which is the answers, is the word power. And I'm, I got a nine this time, which isn't that great. I mean, it says it's uh, good on the next page, I believe. But, yeah, I got good. But I didn't get the extraordinary great this time. But it was it's a little tricky. They have some words on here, like a prize and a praise, gaff, and they have two different ways of spelling it, two different ways of spelling a praise, two different ways of spelling inaculate, mantle, Fetishious, averse, jibe, and, well, jibe all the way down. And they test your wits to see if you know what the definition truly is. I hope you took uh, time to put it on pause or go back and put it on pause. Test your wits. I'm anxious to see what you get uh, that says if you get 9 and below, you're good. If you get 10 to 12, you're gold. And if you get 15, 13 to 15, you're a god. So um, I do have the answers, but I don't want to put the answers up. But I know there's no way you guys will get the answers if I don't put them up. So hopefully by now you've watched the test, you've taken the test, and here's the answers. Okay. And that finishes this book. It's a pretty good, interesting read this month, so be sure to pick up Reader's Digest. You won't regret it. That's the only things I'm doing with you tonight. I'm tired. I need sleep, and I've been fighting it, so good night, y'all. Love you. Keep your social distance. Wash your hands if you can't. Use your hand sanitizer. Wear your mask. Love each and every one of you. God bless.